guys. I've been getting a lot of people asking me for a turban tutorial for my turban that I pretty much wear in all of my pictures and pretty much every day. And although I did do a turban tutorial already and it is on YouTube, I do it differently now. So I figured I might as well do an updated one. This time I'm not going to be speaking, I'm just going to play it over music playing and it, it will just be a real quick video, hopefully. I always say it will be quick and it ends up not being quick. So I'm going to do that for you guys, it's going to be updated and um, yeah, so keep watching if you want to see how I do this turban. Also disclaimer, I get a lot of my turban ideas from Dina Tokyo so I can't take credit for it. Although every time I try hers it ends up being different so really I think this is kind of more my style now since I've changed it a lot and I've made it work so it wouldn't fall off throughout the day because my last turban tutorial that I did when I was doing it that way it would always fall off throughout the day and I'll have to fix it at least three plus times a day so now that I've changed it to the way that it suits my head um, it doesn't do that anymore unless if I don't do it properly then I'll have to fix it later but generally when I do it properly from the get-go I don't have to fix it when I'm out about shopping or you know brunch or whatever it is that I'm doing so right now it's 3 o'clock p.m. it's 3 p.m. in the afternoon and I went out at 10 and I haven't this is it's been like this all day I haven't had to fix it haven't had to touch it play with it nothing so yeah let's get on with it also I totally forgot to tell you what I'm wearing underneath so in my last tutorial, I wasn't wearing a volume voluminizer. I, I was just pretty much putting my hair in a bun and it just wasn't working out for me. But also because my hair is so long, putting it in a half ponytail, it just didn't work either. So that's why I put it in a bun. But now that I've got a voluminizer, which I bought on eBay, um, it comes from like China or something, which is why it took me so long to buy it in the first place. Yes, I'm using that for now. So now I put my hair in a half ponytail and I've got the voluminizer tie it around it to give it that big woof look um, and then as I mentioned in my last my recent tutorial I wear I'm wearing two caps one's from Modell which covers a bun which I really like because it just kick because um because my hair's so long the half bun still hangs out quite low so having this under cap really helps to just keep my hair in place and then I just like to have this hijab house cap as well just for that extra layer of security basically and I find that it just makes a huge difference. Anyway, now I'm going to get on with it.
so there you go that's it really so it's still kind of the same process but a little bit different I kind of remember how I did it before but it just wasn't working out for me and I as you saw before I have a safety pin that goes under the first layer and I've got two straight pins one goes somewhere in the middle and the other one kind of goes at the back just to kind of secure the back part and from my re most recent video when I mentioned that I put the first layer over the head and that's go underneath my undercut but also underneath the side of the layer I did that too in case you didn't notice and anything else that goes on at the back I kind of just tuck it in but if I notice it and I just yeah just make it the way you like it and as you probably could tell I like those layers there I don't like that straight clean look because it feels weird I've always liked to have that messy look before I, I wore a headscarf so I still implement it with my headscarves um, yeah it looks funny in the camera but I said that the last time and it looked fine when I was um, editing it so I don't know but it looks funny but you know it's always different sometimes when I'm even putting it over my head the first time and you know you have that short side and the long side the short side is always different as well I think when I did it just then it was a little bit too long but um whenever I do it, it's always different I don't make it the same every time like lengthwise but it's, I still kind of get the same result anyway yeah so that's it and I find that it's really secure I also didn't mention how low I have my bun I have it quite high to be honest like pretty much to kind of be in line here. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just in line. I noticed with photos it looks stupid, so you probably won't know because I don't upload them that often if, if it looks funny, like an alien head. Um, but I've tried having my bun low and then that ends up being too heavy and I get a headache. And um, also I feel like because it's so heavy, it's more inclined to fall off, which is why I don't have my bun low. I might try again tomorrow and have a low bun and see how it go. I've got class, so see how I go. Usually when I do have a low bun it ends up pretty much being so heavy and kind of falling down by the time I get to class so that's why I just resort to just putting it high. It also helps not getting a headache either because I do have a lot of hair and then I've got a voluminizer to add that more weight and you know just three layers of material on my head too that doesn't really help the weight either so that's why I just feel like having a high bun just makes it more bearable especially because it's getting hot now and well there was a second reason but I can't remember what it is but anyway yeah that's it guys thanks for watching I'm thinking about doing a well two different hijab tutorials that I just thought of doing one is three different hijab styles, like three three lazy hijab style tutorials. Um, so it will include this again, I guess. M maybe I'll just do two. I don't know, but we'll see. I was thinking of doing like a lazy style hijab that I go to when I'm in a rush. Just a generic anyway, but I just feel like doing it. Another one is I might do a, um, the lose, the, the lose. The Muse look have recently messaged me wanting to give me one of their new scarf releases, which is a crinkled scarf. A scarf? What the hell is wrong with me? It's one of their crinkled scarves, kind of similar to the ones I got from Ducey. So I was thinking of doing three different headscarf tutorials with those. So yeah, stay tuned. Make sure you hit that subscribe button too. I kind of wanted to wean myself off not telling you to subscribe. I really want to reach 500 subscribers by the end of the year purely just so I can change my username on my uh, YouTube account. That's the only reason why. There's really no other reason other than that. So if you could help your sister out and help me get 500, that'd be great. Thank you. Now you're trying to complicate it